I think I remain hopeful, and I remain hopeful with the rest of the world. I don't think we should uh, accept um, the result as it is until we finally reach a result of we see where she is, we know what has happened to her, and um, eventually maybe possibly a full and transparent investigation about her sexual allegations. I mean, I urge and including myself, I'm not going to accept what it is right now until we find out where she is and that she's safe, that she's free from expressing herself. What do you think could have happened to her since uh, she posted those allegations online two weeks ago? I don't know. I think this is one of the questions that many of us and the, the whole world is asking, like, where, where, where is she? What has happened to her ever since she posted her allegations publicly after she made her public claims against a former Chinese leader? Like, where is she? How is she doing? We want to know those answers. And we like a lot of people, including a lot of celebrities, tennis players, they're asking the same questions. We want to know and we demand an answer. Is this among the most high profile sexual assault allegations we've seen in China? How concerned is the government about how this could play out? Yes, I would say this is one of the most high profile allegations, Me Too allegations against one of the highest ranking person in China, people in China. And honestly, I don't know how the government is going to react to it, because right now, um, as much as you see that the, the international world on Twitter, a lot of Western media are reporting about this. The fact is in Chinese social media, in Chinese media on Weibo, a Twitter-like social media platform in China and WeChat, no one can talk about it. So no media is reporting it. All the censorship is censoring any people who are trying to talk about it, mentioning even her name. And as much as so many international celebrities um, or international players are um, talking about this, supporting her, this is not something that we will be able to see on Chinese social media because they are being censored. So on one hand, we see that um, there's this email allegedly written by Peng Shui is, is, um, is published on a China, China's, Chinese state media on Twitter. On the other hand, this email was not being seen anywhere on Chinese social media or Chinese media. So I would say the government's re reacting to it by not saying anything to people in China. Well, what are the views of Chinese citizens towards this case? I would say so far far what i see is all a lot of chinese young women chinese women and and tennis fans of course are asking these important questions online even though it's being censored and deleted they find codes they find ways to talk about it without even mentioning her name because we, we really want to know and really really concerned about her safety and whereabouts um, but for the mass, for the mass, we actually don't know because they might not even, they're not even able to access that piece of information. Tell us. And I would say, yes. oh, I also would say that there are people who read Peng Shai's allegations right before it got deleted. They try to frame it as it's a scandal or it's, um, it's just Peng Shai is the former Chinese leader's mistress instead of being forced into a sex, forced into a uh, unconsensual sexual relationship. So this is one, one of the, one of the things, one of the attacks that Peng Shui is receiving even from China. So I would say that just like other, a lot of other um, Me Too cases uh, where people re are receiving the same attacks. Well, tell us a bit more about the wider Me Too movement in China. How does it continue despite the censorship? And do you think this case will uh, give it further momentum? Um, well, first of all, whether we'll get more momentum, it's up to the international world. It's up to us. Um, if we don't stop speaking up for her, supporting her, I think 
or momentum. And WTA is working on the front line. I really admire that. We're so thrilled that WTA is doing everything they can, it's issuing statements um, to countering the allegedly email and. Um, also, I realized I, I just learned that Australian Open um, is has started their first round of promotion. So I really do expect that. I really do hope that Australian Open can do something about it. Can issue a statement to support Peng Shai. And for as far as the censorship goes, China has has achieved so many things. Um, the, the censorship is the, the despite the heavy censorship, many many young women are being deleted. Me too activists, their social media account were being banned, being deleted. They are not allowed to to speak. On the other hand, um, the sexual harassers, they they are allowed to talk. They are allowed to um, talk trash about all the Me Too cases that were brought brought against them. They 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 are able to they are able to survive. Um, and if you go on Chinese social media and, and talk about Me Too cases, um, you will see a lot of attack against Me Too movement. But they cannot stop the Me Too movement in China because there are so many young women who, who, who saw the idea of Me Too, who realized that, oh my God, for the past for the, pa for the past 20 years, 20, past 30 years, what I'm experiencing are not right. It's just not justice. So that the young, once the young woman realize this is not right, they, 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 they become part of the Me Too movement to counter the censorship that's ongoing. So that's, so that's why Peng Shui's story were, is actually part of the Me Too movement um, because because she's she spoke up about herself, she also inspired a lot of young women, and she's part of the meeting room where young women are speaking up about their experiences to tell people about how hurt they were, how 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 abusive this system and other people or men in power are. Thank you, Xiaowen Liang. Appreciate you talking to us and sharing your views. Thank you. Thank you.